this was something we had planned years ago that eventually when we both got older that she would live with us after her parents died and everything and um, she and her sister moved down here in the beginning and then her sister died and then she said you know and um, she sold her a cottage in East Ham and she said my aunt my other aunt came up with the idea well why don't you put an addition on for Ann and Rick and they can live with you that's sort of the reverse of how people yes, usually it is, do it. Yes, it is, because she's That's got the seven room, we have the four room. I'm in the <laughs> in-law apartment, yes. She shuts the door at night, and there's a door upstairs, so we ne you know, we don't bother each other. We just, um, I mean, we eat together, we cook together. Um, we're usually out here, what, seven, eight months of the year anyway, right? <laughs> she doesn't get upset about things. She's very calm. Um, always mm -hmm. has just had, to, had life on. If she had to do something, she did it. Um, she worked all her life until 68, um, went to Boston, dressed up every day, went into town, had a, a good job in there, um, and it provided her with the income she needed to do everything she wanted. No idea why, I just, just lived here. Never smoked. She doesn't drink that much. She kept her weight always, this, just about this, she's little now but she was always small. Um, she's very disciplined. I guess that's the word I'd use. Well, I used to knit, but I don't do that much now. But I do jigsaw puzzles. I like to do those, so. I think you like to shop, maybe, with your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> sure does. Okay. My mom is named after her um, great-grandfather. Um, his name was Field, and that's my mother's middle name, and he lived to be 90. So we think that maybe the genes came down from him, I don't know. And, um, but her sister, Cynthia, um, lived to be almost 93, and um, her other sister lived to be 86. Her mother was 82. You know, her father, unfortunately, had cancer, and he died earlier. But So I think it's in there. In the early 50s, she and my grandparents um, bought a beach cottage in Northeast Ham. And then um, after my grandfather died a few years, 1965, I think, they sold it. My mother bought another one and didn't particularly like that one. Bought another one in Brewster <laughs> and thought, hmm. <laughs> Finally found one she loved and owned it for 30 years. Rented it um, like six weeks out of the year. That paid for the taxes and everything. And she, my mother, my aunt, and my daughter would all go down on Saturdays and clean it in between rentals. But she ran, she ran that she had everything just so. I always ask people what does it feel like to reach a hundred? Did you think of it during no, your life? No, I never thought I'd make it. <laughs> Why not? Well, I always do my laundry. And do you have to go up and down stairs to yes, do that? Yes, it's downstairs. You were born in Randolph. Yes. What do you remember about your early years? We had good times. And with my sister, she was only two years younger than me, so we were close to, with each other. 